Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel for another pen review now, today, after a, quite a long break. But I'm back again and today I'm going to review a pen by Lamy and the model is called Lamy Ideos or Lamy Ideos. I'm not sure how to say the name. This pen was sent to me by Apple Bloom as a loan for review purposes. So let's just look at it. It comes inside the box like this, made of paper, and it has this sleeve, it has this tag to pull. So you take this away and you see there again Lamy in silver letter in this cardboard again, and you have a spongy thing. Lamy design made in Germany and then you have the pen. Beneath you will find instruction bu bu booklet and a single blue ink cartridge by Lamy. And the cartridge is inside the pen, that's why it's not under that pen bed. Now let's move this light closer and let's see the pen. I showed this pen before in some of my pens for the month and now I want to really show you the review. This is a very interesting pen. It's not perfect, it's not my favorite pen by Lamy at all, but it is quite an interesting model. So let's take a look. The first thing I want to mention is this pen is all made of metal. It comes this it came with this little tag where you can see the price which is around 100 and it depends on the the VAT tax tax for your country but it is 115 uh, euros which is not that cheap I would say and here you have all the, the the pen for you to see so what we have here is a pen that is made of aluminium that's at least my guess uh, because it's quite light, it's made of metal, all metal, and you have a metal clip which is spring loaded. You have the Lamy logo on the side. This will be a hard one to, to, to light the video. And you have this end part with these two little black things that will help the pen to post, and also this black kind of ring. This inched thing will remind you probably of the, let me bring it right away here, the Lamy 2000, this Lamy 2000 is the steel version, that you have these hinged, these spring-loaded clips. So it is kind of the same thing, the same kind of design, and it makes sense. It, this is really a very Lamy-esque style. But the most interesting thing about the pen is the shape. This pen has a shape of a drop, like this, as a pointy side, a pointy uh, line that runs all through the pen, and then the rest is like rounded, and the clip is not on these, on these. Uh, I forget the name to say this, um, along this line, but it is on the side and it is interesting. Now, let's take the cap off. The cap goes in just like this, it clicks on place, you take the cap off and you will find a metal section. And this metal section has the same kind of drop shape and the drop shape will is more uh, visible at the end, like here, you can see it's much sharper and then it's not really sharp anywhere but it's sharper there and it rounds out, it rounds, uh, rounds down until it comes to the nib which is almost rounded there. You have a steel nib, focus, this one is an extra fine Lamy steel nib that is the same nib that you will find on the for example, the Lamy Ion. This is the new model of nib, which is very similar to the nib of Lamy Safari, but with a different twist to it. 
So metal shiny section may be a problem for some. Some people find this kind of section slippery. I don't find it. I think it's uh, it has much more to do with your skin than with the material, but that's what it is. And then to take out the to take off the, the section, you have to twist this, and it is kind of a bayonet fitting. You see there. Um, more than a, a screw. And we can understand that because of the shape. This is the way to really align all the parts. It will go in just in... Now I can't do that because I'm on camera. I knew that would happen. Sorry. So, why can't I put this on again? Uh, Sorry, let, let me check this. Okay, I didn't, I didn't understand what was happening. Sorry. What you need to do is to align these, these upper line with those things. You do this, it gets on place, and then you just twist it. Now, I have twisted the wrong way, and so this is not aligned with the other part, so we need to take it off, do it the other way, and now it's done. So, this will allow you to perfectly match this line with that line. This was kind of a fail to show in a video, but that's how it goes. You can put it in the wrong way, but you just have two positions for it. Or it's right or wrong, and that's it. When all it's aligned, it looks really nice, I would think. When we think of design, we would say this kind of design could only be of Lamy. So, again, this pen is a cartridge converter pen. It doesn't come with a converter, it comes with a Lamy cartridge that, as I said before, it comes below the pen bed. So, this is it. So, let's see some other stuff here. The Lamy, the, the nib is very similar to, to the Lamy Ion nib. Let me get it I have here, let me ion in black, and you can see this is the same nib, this one is fine, this one is an extra fine, and both are slip fit caps, this also has this, and if I have to think of a pen that reminds me of this one, in a way is the Lamy Studio, it is different in some in some parts. There is also one with a finish similar to that. Lamy Studio has this interesting um, clip, but when you look at those pens, they remind me a little bit of the same thing. However, this one has the Safari kind of nib, this one has the Ion kind of nib. So, these are interesting pens, I would say. I'm not a very big fan of the Studio, and I can say that I'm not a very huge fan of the Ideos also, although I find the design very interesting. Now, as I showed you, what are the, the, the problems with this pen? First, uh, one thing that's not a problem is that this clip is very shiny, so it will grab all the fingerprints that you can have. That's not really a problem of the pen. It is a slip fit cap, some people prefer to have screw fit caps because they seal better, but I found I find that this pen, even being inked for a long time and many, sometimes I have several days without using the pen, it is still, um, it is always ready to write, so there's no problem about that. There is another thing, is that this pen is really long enough and comfortable enough to write with. I find the drop shape less interfering with your handwriting than the triangular shape, but it is kind of a triangular shape grip and it will force you to hold the pen in a specific way. I don't really love that characteristic. Maybe you like it, so it will be good. I don't really think it's that good. Um, the size is very, very good. And if you are the one that likes to post the pen, yes, it can be posted. It posts very securely, and sometimes it's even hard to put because of those little black things that 
keep it on place. But one thing that I noticed is when you post it, and I didn't post it that many times because I'm not a fan of it, it will, I cannot show you this on camera. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but it will, it will uh, take off the finish of that little part because of rubbing the metal against the metal. So that may be a problem for some, not really a big deal. So this is 115, uh, 115 euros pen, maybe not that cheap. It could come with a converter, but it doesn't. And the biggest complaint I have about this pen, besides the kind of triangular grip, which is not my favorite, but it's a very personal thing, is how things look not to be very tight on place. And I'm talking about several parts of the pen. When you have the pen like this, and you do this, it rattles. I will put it close to the microphone if, to see if you can hear it. It's not that bad, but it rattles a little bit. When you look at the clip, you can do this and the clip will move sideways. Some, this happens sometimes. It also happens a little bit with Lamy 2000, which is a much better pen. So, it's just a characteristic, not good or bad, but I would like it to be more uh, firm. Then, when you look at the cap and the barrel, you will see there is some play there. You can actually move it a little bit like this and sideways also. So, it has a little bit of a play. Here, no. When we talk about the section and the pen, it is very firmly in place. But this way, it moves a little bit. So, I, am I impressed with design? Yes, I am. Would I choose this pen for myself? I'm not sure. If I would like to collect the impressive Lamy designs, yes, this pen would be in the collection. Not really because of it being my favorite, but because I think the design is quite interesting. So, now let's just see the, the things that I want to show you, the pens to compare with. So, here we have the Lamy Ideos, which is closed, and we will bring here a Lamy, this is not a Safari, it is the LX Ruthenium, but it is roughly the same pen as the Safari for the size comparison, and you can see that the Ideos is a little bit bigger, and we have the Lamy Studio, which is just a little bit smaller, and we have the Ion, which is girthier, and for my preference, it has a rounded section. However, in this pen, some people will say also that the cap rotates when the pen is capped, so it may be, look, there is also some play here, and it annoys me. There is some play. Uh, it annoys me more on this pen than on the Lamy Ion. And the Lamy Ion is a bigger pen, but has the same nib. And then we have a Parker Centennial to Fold, which is a pen that I like to compare the other pens with. And it is about the same size as the Lamy Safari. And finally, we have the Lamy 2000, which is just a little bit shorter. So, we would say that the Lamy, uh, I think I said Safari, the 2000 is the same size as the Studio and the LX, and the Ion is the same size as the Ideos. Now, let me take those away and let me just show you the pens uncapped. This pen posts really well, but I don't think it was created to be posted really because it will get very long. I think it is still comfortable and not out of balance, but I prefer to write with it and post it. It's more comfortable to me. So you have the three pens and posted, and you can see the size is about the same. Of course, the nib on the Parker Dufold is the most impressive because it's bigger, but here you can see the three nibs together. And I quite like the shape of the 
need on the EDEOS. And so, this is what I had to show you. Be aware of the shiny, smooth section. If you don't like it, be aware of the triangular shape. And that's about it. And if you don't like this, this pen is not for you. If you like, the, if you are crazy about design, I think this design is just brilliant. So now let's go to the paper and do the writing sample. And here we have our pen and paper and let's see how it performs. So the pen I have here is the Lamy Ideos or Ideos with an extra fine steel nib. The paper I'm writing on is the Rhodia dot pad that I usually use and the ink is the Lamy blue that comes in the cartridge which is included with the pen. Now let's see the Oops. sorry there is some shadow here on the paper. Okay. Uh, now let's see how the nib performs. This nib is an extra fine but I find this nib to be really good. It's not that that fine. I would say it is more on the fine side than on the extra fine and it is really really good. It writes really well. There's no complaint about it. Line variation. If you press it a little harder there will be more ink on paper but I'm not sure if this is really line variation and you need to press it hard so it will not make sense to do that. And this is how it performs. So it performs really well, no problem about it. About the wetness. I think it's very good for an extra fine nib, so no complaints at all. Now, another thing is about reverse writing, some people are crazy about it and stuff, and I don't like to do that. It doesn't write, but why would you care to do reverse writing with a pen that has a shape of a section that forces you to use it, the pen, on the right position? So it will make it, will, it won't make that much sense. So this is what you get with this pen. And now let me just write a little uh, quote of a text here just to have a longer writing uh, experience for you to see how it goes. Okay, my handwriting is awful, as you already know, so this was just to show you. There is no skips, it, it is very smooth. It really is a very, very nice pen with a very good nib that doesn't even look an extra fine nib. Usually, or sometimes, extra fine nibs are a little bit more feedbacky or too dry. This is not dry, it is smooth, so this is really, really a good nib, and I, so far, my experience with these nibs, this shape of this new shape of nib is much better. There's no reason about the shape, but I find that the finish of the tipping is much better with this pen than with this nib than on the nibs on the Safari. Just another thing that I want to mention that now that I wrote this is sometimes for me I really I tend to rotate the pen a little bit and I do that with many pens that I have. Some pens can hold it well and there's no problem. With this pen, it is kind of strange because it has the triangular grip that forces me to hold the pen in a specific way, but I tend to go in the other way. So, in the end, it all comes to who will win this war, me or the pen. So, that's something you should consider. If you tend to rotate the pen, this triangular shape nibs can be useful, yes, if you will learn and change your way of writing because of the pen and that will be a good thing, or it is just your way of writing, you don't want to change it and so 
you will force to rotate the pen anyway and it will become more uncomfortable. In the end, it's all up to you to decide if this pen is good for you or not. I think it is a very nice pen, very nice design. Would I buy it for myself? No, this one I wouldn't. But the performance is great, the design is brilliant. Thank you for watching. I hope to meet you here soon again on my channel for more videos. So, see you next time. Bye.